push, release, push, release. I'm gonna shift up the cassette by pushing this lever and down the cassette by pulling the other one. Changing many gears at once is no problem, especially going down the cassette. Hey, hey, Danny from Sigbiker Studio here. I've been waiting for this moment, being able to show you three different shifting systems of my three different bikes. We have Shimano Rapid Fire Plus, we have SRAM Twister or Grip Shift, and SRAM Trigger. Uh, I'm going to focus on the shifters only, and I will tell you what about the comfort and ergonomics, how much space each shifter will take, will take on your handlebar, and finally, shifting performance and the question can we change the gears while braking so let's focus on these and jump into the first one the twister the grip shift or the twisters this is our first shifting system and how it looks like from the rider's perspective it will take just around one third of your grip width on the handlebars but if you look at my palm it actually takes just about half of my palms width to operate. So I'm operating here with the thumb and with the indexing finger and the middle finger is actually just at the edge between the moving or twisting and non-moving non-twisting part. As for the comfort it gives you a lot of support uh, it is quite thick right here so it feels very good to grasp it and to just uh, support your your hands and arms on it. Uh, you also don't have to make any additional movements. So we don't move with the thumb or with the indexing finger. We simply hold on to our handlebar and twist it a little bit, changing the gears. So the comfort and ergonomics are very, very good. As for the shifting, just in a second. Now for the space. Uh, the, the most common grips you have on your bikes would take around 13 uh, centimeters. As you can see, so that would be my, my uh, grip and it is actually, it gives me that space. But this system will take uh, three and a half or 35 millimeters uh, of the space in addition to the, this whole grip. So 35 millimeter this, of the space on your handlebars. And also as the ice pack or the, uh, the SRAM matchmaker, you can uh, have uh, your triggers or rapid fires mounted on the same clamp with the braking lever. Here the braking lever has to be just, just beside your grip shift. So grip shift, additional 35 millimeters of the space on your handlebars. What about maintenance and compatibility? These are fairly simple systems. So in terms of the maintenance, we've got the ball bearings inside and all the metal parts uh, on the shifting mechanism. So we do not really maintain those shifters. These are very good, simple and light. Uh, here we have a simply or easily accessible uh, port for the cable replacement. So this is very, very easy stuff. In terms of the compatibility, uh, it is uh, mostly the SRAM that makes these twisting shifters for all terrain bikes from just some trekking bikes up to racing cross country bikes, trail bikes uh, and so. Uh, these will come in different group sets from 9 speed up to 12 speed but just as it is with the other shifters like triggers and rapid fires SRAM is only SRAM derailers compatible and Shimano will be only Shimano derailers compatible. The shifting performance. I can tell you right away that this is going to be the fastest shifting system with some disadvantages. So let's just start by clicking one by one you can see how much of a movement uh, my uh, hand has to do. It is very little, this is 11 speed system, entry level GX uh, components group set. As you can see, very crisp, very smooth. Of course, the shifting will also uh, rely on the derailleur, cassette and the chain, but this is very easy. Now, how fast it is, it is super fast. Changing many gears at once is no problem, especially going down the cassette, just one movement of your of your palm and you've changed all the gears from the lowest to the highest so if you're going through the top of some some steep climb you're gonna go fast down the hill no clicking just one movement or maybe two a twist and you are uh, going through the whole cassette what are the disadvantages 
Number one, you cannot really change the gears while braking. It is possible uh, with the rapid fires or triggers. We don't do it very often, but when you are braking here, especially with the uh, index fingers, you're, you're not gonna be able to do much here because you have to twist your palm. So maybe using the middle finger and then changing something, uh, but this is not as easy as with the triggers or uh, rapid fires. The other disadvantage of this system is also that when you are going through some really bumpy terrain, so if you love trails, you have some, let's say, 141, 50 millimeters of travel, and uh, you really jump, go through the rocks, you may sometimes uh, shift by accident. So accidental shifting happens with these. It doesn't happen for me so often because, or it's maybe once a month, because uh, I'm pretty, um, I got used to it and I'm pretty advanced rider in terms of the grip shift, if, if you can say so. Uh, but some riders who just initially get this shifting system will tell, well, I, I just shift too much uh, by accident. So if you know how to put your palm on the, on the grip, it's not gonna be a huge problem because you are grasping the non-moving part uh, and just you know holding on to your handlebars, no problem. But some would say this is the disadvantage. So as you, as you already know, the fastest shifting system, no braking while, while changing the gears and sometimes accidental shifting on the bumpy terrain. Now using Shimano terms, what different shifting systems we do have here? First system would be the multiple shifting, right? Because we can just do whatever we want with just one move. So uh, on the uh, SRAM triggers, we, we're gonna be able to uh, move up the cassette by let's say up to five and down the cassette one by one on Shimano. Uh, up to some gears uh, going up the cassette and down the cassette two gears with one uh, further push here we can just do anything we want so multiple shifting the the most advanced uh, system on the grip shift instant release we also have the instant release that means that just one little move changes the gear so there is no push release push release system one little move changes the gear so we do have all the systems possible, very advanced, very easy, very fast, but with some disadvantages. Now Shimano Rapid Fire Plus from the rider's perspective, as you can see, I have both clamps, uh, separate clamps for the brakes and for my shifter. And here the shifting clamp will take you just about 10 millimeters. So it's, it's not so much but I would still recommend having ice pick system. So the um, Rapid Fire Plus and your braking lever on the same clamp. That's really fun and, and more space on your handlebars. Closer look at this little baby. It is very <laughs> ergonomic. And here, as you can see, my palm is on my grip and I already have my indexing finger and my uh, thumb right where I would like to have it. So I'm gonna shift up the cassette by pushing this lever and down the cassette by pulling the other one but also I can push this lever and push the other one which is super ergonomic how it works how many gears you can change what systems we have just in a second in the shifting performance but the ergonomic of this is really good now you may be um, braking i'm now having my indexing finger on the braking lever and let's say going up the cassette so that's possible if you're going down and you see there will be some climb you can be surprised by this you are braking here and you can change those gears unlike on the uh, twisters or grip shifts uh, from SRAM so it is possible here I do like the feeling of the XT um, rapid fires XT XTR will have similar feel very ergonomic not so much space uh, on the handlebar very good Shimano rapid fire system, let's check it out how it shifts, how it performs. Shifting performance is also very good. It is outstanding and it changes um, the feel of, of change, changing the gear so much comparing to both SRAM triggers uh, and twisters. 
both ways it is super easy to go through the cassette as you can see the derailleur is also so much different but I'm gonna do that on another episode as for the shifters now we have all the system available this is the XT uh, shifter here we have XTR um, derailleur on the XT cassette and 11 speed what does uh, XT and XTR shifter give us in terms of the technologies we have the multiple shifting so we can change one two three four gears up the cassette and once more one two three four right and then two pushes and we have the whole cassette upwards covered interesting thing downwards we can use either the indexing finger or the same thumb in order to uh, use the, uh, the the downshifting or upshifting if you will uh, lever so if we go down the cassette I can either push it with my thumb or pull it with my finger and that's the cool stuff this is called uh, two-way shifting this is very good and also we can push by two and change the gears by two so whether you call it downshift or upshift you can go down the cassette to the highest gear uh, by two it's not possible uh, on the SRAM system it's not possible here also with the indexing system, uh, finger you can do it only by one going uh, this uh, this way but two using your thumb so this is really cool system I love it and here we also have the instant release and that means once we push either push or pull the derailleur is already there and then I release but the derailleur is already there I pull the gear change has already happened so it's faster than on this run just one push or one pull and it changes the gear um, the feel of the of the levers is a bit more rough I would say on the Shimano XT and XTR up to SLX it feels pretty pretty light but I, I can say I can tell you that in the racing conditions this is much better than just so so super smooth and like almost electronical feel you have to give a bit more push for the derailleur but the movement of the derailleur is more sudden there is more energy more power and it changes gear rapidly doesn't matter how much mud or anything you have on the on the cable on the uh, cassette or the derailleur so this shifting system is very very good SRAM XX1 Eagle meaning we have the highest group set here with 12 speed uh, there is nothing more you could buy from SRAM uh, comfort and ergonomics really good my thumb feels very natural on this lever here the only disadvantage of this system comparing to Shimano um, triggers or rapid fires is that you can only change the gears by using your thumb so nothing working here for your thumb you can just pull or push the other lever it doesn't work for your for your indexing finger only works for your thumb so one finger operation it works very well I'm going to show you the shifting performance how much space it takes on your handlebars the width of this clamp is just about 17 millimeters uh, and as you can see on one clamp here I have the adjustable uh, shifters my lockout for the uh, front and rear suspension and also my braking lever so this is really br brilliant I do like it now how do we change the gears so this, these are the triggers uh, that's why we have two levers here but not possible to use the indexing fingers and that's a shame I think that's what uh, what Shimano has patent on and SRAM just cannot do the quality of this is really good but you can only change the gears with your thumb It is time now for the SRAM XX1 Eagle shifting performance so let's check it out I said already that it does depend also on the cassette and derailleur uh, and the cables uh, so much but as for the system itself it gives us very nice feeling of those shifters the sound is very crisp and nice both ways on the cassette it wor works just perfectly 
sometimes we don't even hear uh, the chain engaging on the on those uh, cocks it, it does work so nice so the feel is nice it's very easy to change the gears now what we don't have here we are unable to use the indexing fingers we are only changing the gears with the thumb two levers but both are being pushed uh, so going up the cassette I can go up to five then once more that's already 11 gears and then the 12th one so this is the 12th speed remember and then going down only pushing one by one so in order to change all the gears you have to push uh, this lever 11 times comparing to both uh, Shimano and SRAM uh, twisters we don't have multiple release so we can change multiple multiple gears only this way and not the other one only one by one going down the cassette and there is no instant release meaning we have to push and release so let's check it out once more push release push release push release so the whole movement of the redirector uh, is actually being done by two movements of the thumb we have to push the releasing uh, lever and then release the releasing lever then it changes the gears so ergonomics uh, and uh, and how it feels is very well we just don't have some systems that probably shimano has uh, patented so if you want to have all this instant release and multiple release both ways you're gonna go for the grip shifts or shimano so which one then which one well sorry to disappoint you maybe all the three systems are very very good so let's try to just sum up some of its features. in terms of the comfort and ergonomics and maintenance all three score very very high replacing the cable super easy and you don't really have to maintain these uh, and then in terms of the shifting performance sorry for SRAM because I love quality of SRAM especially Eagle I would say SRAM Twister and SRAM Rapid Fire equal and then SRAM Trigger. Why so? Because SRAM Trigger doesn't have so many technologies that Shimano has probably covered by, by a patent. Uh, SRAM Twister is by far the fastest one but you can sometimes uh, change the gear by accident so that's the disadvantage of it it's still my favorite one uh, and Shimano with the instant release will with the multiple shifting both ways is just really amazing and also uh, two-way release so you can use both the, the your thumb and the indexing finger for changing the gears which SRAM trigger doesn't have so this is my take on those three systems let us know in the comments what do you think about it. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next episode.